friends, Nibs again. <clears throat> here in the garage, a little bit of goofing around this afternoon. And uh, we have a thunderstorm uh, rolling in outside here. So if you hear a bunch of booming outside, uh, don't be alarmed. It's just a storm. <laughs> but uh, I uh, went to the local gun show today. I haven't been to one of those in a couple of years now, several years. Um, I haven't even went before COVID, but uh, since COVID, I definitely haven't gone. But I went to the local gun show today and I came away with some pretty cool treasures. Uh, nothing firearm related, or actually nothing firearm powder burners, but I did come away with a couple of cool air guns. Uh, all of them are daisies, <laughs> but uh, I did see some others that I would like would have liked to had, but they wanted too much for them, so I walked on by. But this first one we're going to take a look at is actually what I thought was a bottle 1894, Daisy 1894. It definitely is that. But this one is actually branded as a Sears and Roebuck, and it's a model 799.1905. So, pretty cool. Um, the owner did say that this one worked, so uh, we'll go ahead and uh, give it a try. I already put a couple BBs in there just to be ready. But uh, let's go ahead and see what we can do. So, yeah, this one's kind of weird. You have to cock it first or rack the lever first then you have to cock the hammer or else it won't fire the scope is not very good no nope. <laughs> and uh, the barrel the bb barely came out of the barrel so i think i got at least one more in there let's go ahead and uh see if that wasn't just a fluke Nope, <laughs> just hardly didn't even make it all the way across the garage. But uh, these aren't too bad to rebuild. The seal kits are available for them. Uh, JG Air Guns and a few other places have seal kits for these. So we'll get this one fixed up in no time flat and have that one ready for the channel. <clears throat> so the next one is one that I had never really heard of before. Um, I may have saw it like on ebay or whatever and they're paying much attention to it but uh there's the sticker they had asking price on it and i paid less than that so um but what we have here is a daisy model 18 or not model 840 and when i saw it i thought it was going to be a, a multi-pump like the 856 or the 880 or whatever <clears throat> but uh, this turns out to be a single pump single stroke pneumatic like my model 781, Crossman 781. So let's go ahead and see if this one's gonna actually function. So all three of these were you know, from three different sellers and they all claim that they worked. So we're one, one and oh, or oh and one so far. So let's hope that uh, the next two do a little better. Oh yeah, oh yeah. If I had to guess, it's probably got about the same amount of power as the 781 too. Not any kind of powerhouse, but a fun little plinking gun for sure. Ugh, this, this pellet port's not a lot of fun. Yeah, let's do one more. So we're batting 500 so far, not too bad. I, I buy these things fully expecting that they'll need to be rebuilt and resealed. Uh, so even if none of them worked right off the bat, I w would not be disappointed at all. Oh, I, I pulled that one. But uh, <laughs> it's shooting, that's all that really matters for me for now. I'll put a little scope on there and We'll do some head-to-head -head challenges with the 781. That'll be a ton of fun. Now this one is one that I have been searching for for quite a while. And these sell for quite a bit of money on eBay. And I've never found one that I was willing to pull the trigger on, so to speak. But uh, what we have here is a really cool, very limited production 
Daisy model 499 and according to the blue book of gun values these were only made for like three years 76 to 79 um, and a lot of them had plastic stocks and even a more limited number had uh, wooden stocks this one has the shooting sports education uh, medallion in the stock too I have a model 99 that has that in it as well I really need to do a refinish on that one that one's in pretty tough shape it shoots really nice but just cosmetically it's in bad shape this is in really nice shape cosmetically and I hope it shoots good so this one is a single shot you have to single feed the BBs down in the barrel one at a time so you cock it and uh, these are these are known for being really light shooters they're intended for for youth shooters and you put the BB down the barrel sounds like it's got some pretty good power not bad hit the hit the red bullseye Oops, stand by. Phone's almost uh, low battery on me here. This is so far. It's uh, one of the best shooting daisies I own. <laughs> The, uh, the guy that I bought this from at the gun show said that he used to run a, a youth uh, sporting rifle uh, competition and uh, this was one of the guns that they would shoot that's why it has this uh, it's just he said this is just uh, nail polish it can come right off with a little bit of nail polish remover or acetone but they wanted that on there so that they could tell if the youth had the gun in fire or safe uh, there's no way to tell from a distance on one of these otherwise so that's nice that is really nice all except for one in the red <laughs> there you go there is you got a nice little hooded front sight you can replace those change out those uh, inserts there it has a really nice peep sight on it this is going to be a really nice addition to the channel. Um, so I paid less for all three of these than what this gun is worth or what this gun would sell for maybe even like half <laughs> of what this gun would sell for on, on eBay. I've been, I've been following numerous of these 499s and they always sell for a lot on eBay. So, but anyway, there you go. There's my treasures for the day. Uh, couple good finds that 1894 I'm not disappointed in that at all it just needs a little bit of tinkering and uh, you guys know I like to tinker too so but anyway hope you guys liked the video till next time have a great day